Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome to a very special video indeed. One of the things I really enjoy about our very niche market, flight simulation, is the community and the community spirit. One person willing to step in and help the next. And in this video, I want to highlight two people that you should know about. It's Roberto and Jalil. They're both avid Microsoft Flight Simulator fans, and Jalil, who's normally the captain, he's a quadrupedic. And they're both the founder members of an organization, a non-profit organization called Fly Lilo. Fly Lilo is a very young organization with its focus firmly directed towards the disabled within the community. And they're looking to use the medium of gaming, music, Microsoft Flight Simulator, etc. as a vehicle to achieve this, as well as look at opportunities to develop the technology that will make that transition for the disabled easier. Now, what you're looking at behind me here is the fly-by-wire A320 and the pilot in command, well, it's Jalil or Lilo. And he's doing a flight with the flying Fabio. Let's see what he had to say about this guy's amazing skills. And then we'll have a chat with Roberto. Lilo is hand flying. Lilo is hand flying, guys. 100 above. This is One Lilo, pilot. hand flying. Go watch his stream right now. Watch him do this. It is absolutely Minimum. amazing. And he does it with a smile on his face too, because he's like, yeah, I got this. No worries. No worries, right, Lilo? Come on, Lilo, you got this, dude. You One got this, point. dude, yeah? Let's go. Let's go. 50, 30, 20, retard. Ten. Idle, flare. Five. Dude, we're on the money, on the money. Hey, Roberto, it's great to finally meet you at last after some many months of liaising on Discord and by email and so on. And I must say, it's a real privilege at last to be able to get to talk to you and an opportunity to tell people more about your organization. Hello, Mark. Thank you so much uh, for the invitation. Nice to meet you, really. And uh, we are really proud and uh, really glad to be here. And uh, I hope to find uh, much more uh, people to uh, inform much more people about uh, what you are doing with uh, our non-profit organization. And thank you so much. And of course, you're speaking for yourself and also for Jalil, or as he's more commonly known, Lilo. Exactly. Uh, I'm here because Jalil, uh, as Lilo, uh, is not uh, verbal. Uh, then uh, normally I'm the voice for him, but we are also um, a lot of other people uh, behind the uh, non-profit organization. Then I'm here as president, but of course I talk uh, uh, representing all the people behind me. And the great opportunity we've got in this video is to tell people more about what these guys are doing and what they're trying to achieve, not only in the flight simulation world, but in terms of helping those with disabilities overall. One thing that uh, I think people might like to know is how did you and Jalil actually meet? Ah, I met uh, uh, Jalil in uh, 2013. Um, in the IBAO network during a, a live session, uh, I'm ADC, a traffic controller in Genova, reminding my Juliet. And the Lilo come to me as uh, Alitalia uh, with, uh, with the aircraft. So, and it will... hang on, just so I understand, you met online, you were yeah. the air traffic controller, and he was flying in? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's amazing. So, yeah, so how did. How did you guys get talking or how did it work? Um, but the, the strange thing is because uh, Lilo answered me in text, of course, because it's not, it's not verbal. Then when I uh, write to Lilo all the instruction, every time he answered me only with Roger. <laughs> and uh, th that's strange, but uh, he do all the things, all the procedure really perfect as instructed. Then for me, for ATC it was not a problem. And uh, when on ground, when safely on ground, and uh, I, I see in uh, his flight plan, his uh, base was Genova. And at this time, with our uh, clients in the, of the um, virtual airline of Ligurian Air, is the community, then I write it to him if it uh, 
uh, if he have a pleasure to join uh, us in the in the group and uh, he said me yes then i give him a, a pilot number etc and uh, <laughs> this is how i meet Lynn. oh that's amazing so i suppose the, the the next question to ask you really is what is um fly lilo and really what 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 are your aims and objectives and how long have you been going uh the fly lilo started as a, a simple uh, community around the flight simulator and uh, with with lilo we uh, we work around lilo to give to lilo the possibility to improve his uh, uh, flight simulator experience using uh, this uh, special setup and uh, with him um, we try to help more people and to try to show also um, what uh, Lilo do because it's not so easy to see a quadriplegic person using a flight simulator with professional uh, software like Phoenix or something else yeah. and uh, all is start with the streaming we are, we are Twitch on the 4th of June, but we are officially a non-profit organization only from four months now. Okay, so, but um, it's not just about uh, Gial uh, flying and that. It's become much bigger recently, hasn't it? You're, you're helping exactly. others. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we switch, uh, we become a non-profit organization to be able to help the people around the world to be able to collect the money via fundraise and in the same time to spend this money directly to give for free the adaptive system and console uh, to the disabled people and uh, then what what we try to do is to help people as but to do and uh, to do a plan like an umbrella then try to insert behind below us all of the other uh, identities or um, no profit organization treating the disability around Europe. Fly Lilo has also formed associations or partnerships with various companies. Some of them will be familiar to us, such as FS Reborn, Flight Control Replay, and Xbox, and so on. One of the most significant and recent developments is a partnership with Microsoft and Microsoft Xbox, with the organization already having been a feature in the community news. Not all of the support, of course, is financial, but it all helps. And they liaise from time to time with the French company HitClick, a company that specializes in developing and adapting controllers for those with disabilities. And of course, there's the Xbox Adaptive Controller. During my meeting with Roberto, we discussed various other technological possibilities and aspects. And it was interesting to learn that they're looking at the Tobii Eye Tracker 5 and ways to develop software to implement better mouse control using only visual input. And to me, this sort of technology has just got to be the future. And I'd certainly hope to see those sort of companies getting involved. Fly Lilo is also in the process of establishing ambassadors for various aspects of their organization. To help spread the word, they also have a number of web ambassadors. And I'm sure some of the names above will be of interest and known to you. We saw a clip earlier of the amazing Flying Fabio, the streamer Two-Tone Murphy, the slightly crazed Irishman that is guaranteed to bring a smile to your face. And of course, Q8 Pilot, no stranger to giving back to the community but I take my hat off to each and every one of those listed above. Thank you for supporting the community. And talking about giving a little bit back to the community, I'll leave a link to their main website in the notes below the video. If you're looking for more information or assistance, you can mail them to find out more. Or perhaps you would like to support them by making a small donation. Purely optional, of course. But I know the organization would greatly appreciate it and put your money to good use. Their website, worth a visit, contains a wealth of information, including all contact details, and they are very active on Twitch, as well as many other social media platforms. And of course, they'd always appreciate the sub. Also on their website is a brief description on the technology that Lilo uses in order to use Microsoft Flight Simulator, controlling with just his head and four buttons, and two or three layers of various software. And then in closing, the, the big question, the most important question of all for Lilo, is it Airbus or Boeing? <laughs> is Embraer thereafter Airbus? Oh, is it? Embraer? 
Oh. Embraer, yes. Oh, interesting answer. So there's a quick recap. A lot more information via the website. Fly Lilo, a developing and growing organization helping those with disabilities using mediums such as Microsoft Flight Simulator, music and so on, bringing stimulus and enjoyment, arguably in one of the areas it's needed most. And as a community, I'd like to think, well, yes, we're ready to help. I suspect Roberto is the real hero of the story. And Roberto, thank you for the interview. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay well, look after yourselves. I'll see you again in the not-too-distant future. And bye for now.